Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking through my thought process and explaining why I am making all of the decisions that I am making in a ranked game of the finals. Now, this isn't just any game. This is the game that gets me from very high plat 1 to diamond 4, and that means I'm going to get the shiny new V9S skin as well. This is obviously recorded during um, Season 1. The time of uploading, I think it's actually going to be Season 2. Season 2 probably would have launched, um, so this is probably going to be my last Season 1 video. But I thought I would just show my, my diamond journey anyway. Uh, it was quite a grind, but I did manage to get there eventually. Now, this isn't a very smooth game at all. I think I make a fair few mistakes, but I don't really mind showing those videos because it's something that I can learn from as well. I'm not the best player. I'd say I have decent game sense, but sometimes I do make the wrong mistakes, and I think that is going to happen in this match a couple of times. So, we spawn in. I've got two mediums on my team. At the start of the match, I didn't actually check what they were using, and I definitely should have, but um, I was very, very close to diamond, so I probably just like on my phone or something. I wasn't really too worried about getting to diamond and trying to like focus and absolutely having to win the match. Um, but anyway, we go to the first vault. One teammate is dead. I end up killing someone and I do chuck some C4 and their totem. Totem camping is quite powerful, especially if it's the first round, because I think people are quite reluctant to coin in the first round for the most part, um, or if someone just doesn't have any coins. So now there's a different team here. Um, so teammate rightfully just grabs the vault and starts running to catch out B. You don't want to fight there. It really is just pointless. Like even if you wipe everyone, that's, that's 600 cash. Right, maybe if they've got a couple of defibrillators, you're going to get a thousand cash maximum if you kill absolutely everyone, um, like multiple times. Or you could just take the vault and put it into the cash out and then bam, you have a thousand cash, right? Um, so really not much point fighting here. Now that the cash out is in already, you can come back and try and fight and res your teammates or whatever. Um, and I, I get a couple of kills there. That was just so that we could go res our other teammate. At least I think they were down or we were just like cleaning up the fight between the two other teams that I think were there. Um, but once the vault is in, once the objective has been put in, then you can maybe do a fight because at least the objective is happening. At least it's ongoing. You always want to try and put the vault in first because otherwise if, it's, if you've put it in second, everyone's going to try and third party at that vault afterwards. Um, so a little bit unfortunate there. We won one of the fights and then Salmon was just up on top. I think they RPG'd me. I'm not too sure why there's two C4s there that blew up because I'm pretty sure I only had one on the cash out, but maybe someone else threw one down and blew me up. Or I just had two on the cash out and I, I didn't realize because it's hard to keep track of what's happening in the video as I'm talking. But anyway, um, I just went to use the spectator mode. I was looking over cash out A just in case we happen to spawn closer to that one. Sometimes you're not 100% sure which cash out you're going to spawn next to. So it's always good to use the spectator mode to just have a little look at both of them in case you end up spawning at one you maybe don't think you're going to spawn at. So I'm up at this roof here. I'm looking for where the people are. Teammates are shooting someone and I can't see anyone. I figure they must be on like the opposite side, right? So I just drop down. Figure they must be over here somewhere. One is up there. I RPG the wall. It would have been better if I RPG the floor maybe and then they drop down, but I did get some splash damage on them so it wasn't that bad. I try and grab my teammate's totem. I throw a dome shield and I'm going to just pull it out of the dome shield and res. So once you throw a dome shield, you don't have to stay inside the dome shield. You can just use natural cover as well the dome shields just for like very 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 temporary cover most of the time so teammates are fighting here i'm gonna try and use the scoop barrel to block off that entrance it kind of works now they're not going to be able to shoot down i see a light here and my aim is atrocious um, and they drop down and i am not able to get that kill and i don't think i'm going to get this cash out either oh no you know what i am going to get this cash out like as soon as it disappears that was like super 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 close um, if I had killed that light a little bit earlier, if I hit them even, uh, that would have been better. I just didn't, but we still did get the cash out. Uh, it was like very, very, very last second, which is always a little bit sketchy, but we did end up getting it. And by the way, if you're not like really, really sure that you're 100% not going to get the cash out, you might as well try and get it. Like there, if I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to get it, I could have maybe been like, oh, I'm not going to get that and just not try to steal it at all. That's not going to be a good idea unless you like really know whether or not you're going to be able to steal the cash out if it's got six seconds left on it still, just try and steal it because you might be able to get it, right? Um, but at this point, I, I kind of know when you can steal it and when you can't. So a teammate dies there, and I just keep going on because, again, you always want to try and get the objective in first because it means that people are much less likely to third party at your cash out later on, which is when it's going to be harder to take back. It's always going to be easier to take back if you lose, like, the first fight, and there's still like half of the time left on it and then you can fight there there's not going to be much pressure of the time but if there's only like 
a quarter of the cash out left, then there's going to be a lot more pressure on to kind of like kill the enemy team faster. And that's not great. So that's why you want to put it in first for the most part. There are situations where you don't, um, but for the most part, for, for most of the cash outs, you do just want to put it in first. There's a light over here. Uh, light's just really not a good class. Heavy and medium is just a lot better. I think heavy is very, very, very good. The medium's really just got the defibrillator and the healing beam going for it. And um, FCR is also like, okay. Uh, but light just doesn't really compete with the heavy and the medium right now. I'm hoping season two buffs that again. This is obviously before the launch of season two, so I'm not too sure what to expect in the patch notes and all that kind of stuff, but I suppose we shall see. Um, I think it's a little bit unfortunate here that there's a different team, so we're just getting third party here. I managed to kill the heavy. Charge of the Sam is very, very, very good. I know a lot of people like the mesh shield. Um, even for solo queue, I know a lot of the people like the mesh shield. I just prefer the charge and slam, because, like, if you mesh shield, I'm going to kill you with the charge and slam. Um, and also, it is very, very, very good on Vegas, especially if you don't know the map, which I don't. And you can just charge and slam through stuff and just make shortcuts for yourself, which is very, very useful. Um, but I really like it. So I think we wipe a team there. I'm not too sure, actually. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it's hard to pay attention to the video when you're talking. Um, a teammate goes to steal, something blows up. They don't take any damage though, so I'm not too sure what happened there. And again, this dude's mesh shielding, they're trying to get away. I just charge and slam, it's an easy kill. If someone's like using a mesh shield and trying to back up into a corner, they're probably low, they're probably just gonna be able to finish them off. So uh, medium went to defibrillate. Again, totem camping is very, very, very powerful. Um, so I just kill the medium and then I kill the heavy. There's another light down here. I think they went through that door somewhere, so I'm gonna try and chase up this kill. I see them behind this little thing there and a teammate manages to get a kill. I don't actually hit that light at all. Um, which just poor aim for me, really. So like I said at the start, um, at least I think I said it, this isn't really the smoothest game. I don't really play that well. I don't like hit all of my shots or anything like that. I think collectively my team is just pretty good and we all have pretty good game sense. We all know how the game works, which a lot of people don't. <laughs> like if you play the finals ranked solo queue, you know that a lot of people don't know how the ranked system works or how the the, uh, the game works in the ranked mode rather. But I end up just getting lucky and getting a team that does know how it works, which is always just much nicer than getting a team that doesn't know how it works. Uh, but anyway, I think they're both in, like, plat as well, so they're probably also trying to get to diamond. Um, but anyway. Uh, so someone opens this vault, and then I mark the next vault. I get messed up here by someone. Um, it was a Lewis gun. <laughs> I immediately go to check the stats. Uh, I think when, I think in-game, I thought that was, like, a really good gaming chair. Then I get killed here again. Uh, by someone with a really, really good gaming chair. So I don't know if, if these people are cheating or not, or if they just have, like, absolutely insane aim. Um, but luckily, I don't think we really find out. I think we knock them out in this round. And I think that's our only fight with them. Um, but I, I definitely thought I got killed there really quickly. I was like, I checked the stats straight away as soon as I die to see how many kills they had and stuff. Um, but I don't think we end up running into them again anyway. So here we're in first place. There's two minutes left in the match. You want to defend this vault. Um, if nothing changes, if everything stays exactly how it is, you win the game. Uh, but fortunately, well, as you made opens the vault there, you, you never want to open the vault uh, in this situation because not opening the vault gives you an automatic 20 seconds of extra time if someone else opens it. But if you open the vault and then someone wipes you, they can just take that vault and start bringing it to a cash out straight away, which is what you don't want to happen because you have no need to put a cash out in here, right? Um, so teammates running away here, if they get wiped, it's, it's quite bad, and I think they know that as well, so they're just going to put a mine by the door in case they get chased, and then they're going to just start their health regeneration. So, we actually don't have to go for either of the vaults here. Even though they're both open, we're not going to have to get either of these, um, and that doesn't usually happen. It's just because we've got so much cash, we've played really well, we've got 36,500 cash, the um, fifth and sixth vaults are both worth 22,000 cash. So even if Salmon or Pink got a cash out here, we would still be in first place. And if Purple gets it, then we'll be in second place and we'll still qualify. So we don't actually have to do anything here, even if both vaults go into either of it, into both the cash outs. Um, it still doesn't make a difference. We're still going to win. So the finals is a game where you can kind of win the match at any point. But also, if you play really, really, really well, for the first two cash outs, generally you're not going to have to do anything for the third cash out, which is the situation that we're in here. And also, if our teammate got wiped there, if they didn't run away and throw a mine by the door a minute ago, if they got wiped, we probably would have had to have gone for one of the cash outs. But fortunately, both vaults go into the same cash out anyway, so then even if he got wiped, I don't think it would have made a difference. Um, 
So like now, because both bolts are in the same cash out, if we get wiped, it doesn't actually make a difference. So that's why we're fighting here. We're just fighting for, for fun because we can. We're going to try and get the cash out because why not, right? Uh, if you get wiped again, it, it, it doesn't matter. And we're still going to win. So we're just going for this. I don't think I know that it doesn't matter in game right now because I don't know what 30% of 36,000 is, right? Which is how much cash you lose when you get wiped. So I'm just playing a little bit carefully. Um, I see one team gets wiped, Salmon, Salmon gets wiped here. Um, I'm just checking who else is alive. I see there's only one heavy left on purple. So I just think I might as well try go for it. Teammate stealing, I'm trying to stand in front of them. So if someone tries shooting them, they'll actually just shoot me. There's that one last heavy that was left on purple. They're wiped now. So just pink is around, but they don't have any time to do anything. And we get, uh, we get 81,000 cash in that first batch. So that goes very well. We get a lot of cash there. I don't think I played that well. I'm probably going to whip out the stats. Oh, I played well in that game. Okay, well, never mind. Um, so yeah, we win that first match, goes pretty well, and again, we, we knocked out the Jet Sitters there, which I think uh, maybe has someone with a really good gaming chair, but I'm not sure about that. There was only one encounter, so didn't really have time to tell. But uh, we knocked them out early, which is good. If ever you come across someone that seems good in general, you probably just want to try and knock them out. Um, but anyway, on to the second round. We are on to round two, and I think this is the point where I kind of start making more mistakes. I think maybe my aim isn't so good, and I think maybe I just make some, some poor choices as well. Um, but I guess we'll see. I, I don't actually really remember. So again, using the charge of the slam, especially on Vegas, is very, very good just for opening up shortcuts. I really don't like Vegas. I don't really know it that well, even though I've played on it a lot. Um, whereas I learned Monaco, Seoul, and Skyway Stadium pretty quickly, but I still haven't learned this map. There I charge and Sam. I, I cancelled the charge and Sam because if it, kept, if it kept going, I would have ran into an area where I didn't know the third person was. I saw a two there, and I'm not going to just straight up 3v1 someone, right? That's never going to be a good idea, no matter what class you are. Like, the heavy has the most potential to do it, but you still never want to really 3v1. Um, I, I think I might be eating those words later on, though. I think I might do it at some point later on. I might try and do it at some point later on. Um, but that was just a, a, a poor fight, really. None of us got any kills, I don't think. At least I didn't. Um, and it just doesn't go very well. I think a teammate did get a kill. Actually, I'll take that back. Uh, so we just get wiped. But that is a very, very, very good time to wipe. When, when you go for that first fault, if you wipe there before anyone gets a cash out in that's a very 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 good time to get wiped especially if you're solo queuing because that means now you can just go to the the right cash out and i say right cash out because it's going to be better to go to the cash out that's been put in first so i'm i'm going to a here I, i'm marking it i'm really hoping my teammates go with me you want to go to the first objective 99 percent of the time that the objective that has the cash out in first and that's cash out A. You don't really want to defend B here because everyone's going to third party after A has finished. They're going to try and pick up B if they fail to get A. Um, and that's going to be like two of the teams, right? Three of the team. No, it's going to be two of the teams. Um, so we're probably going to have to defend against three or four teams at the end of this, which is really not what you want to be doing. Um, but I was going to A there. I saw my teammates were staying at B and it's always going to be better to make the wrong decision and stick with your teammates than to make the right decision by yourself. So I come back and now I'm at B and I'm gonna chuck some C4 down at this cash out. Um, I'm gonna pick that one up because I didn't place it properly. I'm placing this uh, in the corners. A, I'm placing the C4 in the corners of the cash out. A, so that I can place barrels by the bottom of it and that can kind of cover up or hide the C4. Then also if this is like a uh, like the middle floor of a building and someone goes to steal the cash out that maybe they've got a dome shield or something so they don't get hit by the c4 at least the cash out's still going to drop down a level because the c4 is at the bottom next to the floor right so that's gonna like also prevent the cash out so it's just like a, a backup really um whether or not it kills the players it's gonna stop the cash out you know but it's also so that barrels can maybe cover it up if you find any and if you want to do that uh this heavy is, is charging into me well, they were trying to push me anyway. I'm not too sure why, because they were very low. Now, we just wiped a team there. You don't want to defibrillate there. You only want to defibrillate when you're in danger in the middle of a fight, really. That's a really bad place to defibrillate, because if we, we get fought here, right, and one of us dies, they're not going to be able to defibrillate. So they used it when they didn't need to there. We're in no rush to get anything done. And there's no urgency. There's no fight happening here. So that's when you don't want to defibrillate. When there's no rush and there's no urgency, don't defibrillate. Just res normally. Um, because then you're going to have the cooldown 
you're, you're gonna have it ready for the next fight. So, even here, like, if one of us dies here, I think they're probably still not going to have the defibrillator. It's a pretty long cooldown, right? It's not as long as the RPG, but it, it still isn't that quick anyway. Um, so I'm getting shot at. I'm not too sure if that person saw me up there or not. They did. So now I'm going to try and take them out, which I do manage to do. Charge and Sam is, is pretty good at pushing people. I get stunned by a light, though, unfortunately. Um, teammate does defibrillate very, very quickly, which is very good. I've seen a lot of people throughout my solo queuing journey that tends to only use the defibrillator in, like, after a fight is finished. Um, and you really don't want to do that. Because if you're going to not defibrillate during the middle of a fight, then you should just be playing heavy. If you're gonna try and like 1v3 and then only res once the fight is over, just play heavy because the heavy is the most killing power, right? But if you're someone that likes resing their teammates and helping out their teammates, then that's great. Medium is probably gonna be for you just res during the middle of the fight. Um, but anyway, this this teammate doesn't have the, the defibrillator ready. They're just staying up there to make sure they didn't they don't die, which is perfectly okay. Um, I genuinely don't know if we got that cash out or not. We did get that cash out. We've got 13,900 and it's four medicine. So we got that cash out. Um, it was a little bit sketchy. A lot of teams were pouring in there at the end. And that was, again, because we kind of went to the wrong cash out. We had a very good opportunity to go to A. Um, but, you know, we did the sketchy one instead and it did end up working. But it always, uh, it always is a little bit... There's always a lot more risk doing the second cash out, basically, especially when it's significantly far behind the first cash out. When they're both put in at a very similar time, it doesn't really matter. Um, but if it's been put in like 30 seconds ahead of the, the first one, then that's probably not going to be great for you. But we ended up getting it anyway, so I've got the vault here. I'm just probably going to try and go to the next cash out. Uh, I try and RPG that person because I wasn't sure if they threw their C4 barrel yet or not. They did. I was trying to kill them before they killed me. It did end up working. Um, I mark an enemy for my teammates. Just marking stuff is always, always very good, especially if you're solo queuing, because that's the only form of communication you have, really, just pinging stuff, right? There are, like, other things you can do. You can say, like, huddle up and hype and thank you, um, but that's not really that informational. And also, if you mark an enemy, it kind of follows the enemy as well for a second or two. So if you mark an enemy as they're about to go on a jump pad, and then they go on the jump pad, it, the marker will finish like probably after they've landed. It marks people and it follows them for a second or two, which can just be useful in general as well, even if you're in like a, a three man that's communicating with each other. Just marking stuff is always good because it tells the other person exactly where the enemy is. So here I'm going to try and destroy the zip line. I don't really like the zip line. I don't want it here because if someone tries to run away and they jump down the stairs, they're going to be able to use the zip line to kind of escape quite easily. Um, now I'm tanking this gas because I, I don't think I'm going to die there. I was going to try to destroy the zipline and then run away. But unfortunately at that exact exact moment, uh, someone else comes. I didn't recognize that it was like maybe enemy's gas. In fact, I don't think it was. I think it was just a barrel. Um, so it's just a little bit unlucky that someone ended up coming at that moment and I didn't know they were there. Get the fib related. Um, I, I'm still going to destroy the zipline because I don't want it there. And now that's gone. Uh, going to reload the RPG. Always very good to keep that reloaded. And we're just defending Cash Out D. I think... Did a team get wiped? I'm not sure. There's no wiped uh, indicators there for the top left. Cash Out C has been put in quite late, so... There's no one here... Someone should be coming here, actually, because they're probably going to attack this Cash Out first. So there a teammate came up the stairs, and I had the RPG out. Don't blow yourself up. Never RPG yourself, because the RPG... I think it does uh, 1.3 times as much damage to you as it does to the enemy. I don't know if that's the right number. It does more damage to you than it does to the enemy. Anyway, your RPG. So never RPG yourself. Never do that. I would have switched to my shotgun and then I would have just tried to kill them like that. Um, even though it takes an extra second to switch weapon, it is going to be better than blowing yourself up, right? Um, I got an assist there for shooting that enemy. And now I've got a pretty good position on this cash out. If you're not sure if your C4 is on the cash out or not, just apply some extra. Because sometimes, you know, someone will chuck a frag grenade in or something and the cash out will... The C4 on the cash out will blow up. So I just threw an extra one on there. So if someone goes to see that, I can blow it up and maybe I'll cut a kill. Or at least I'll probably stop the cash out because it will fall beneath the floor, which is always good. See a dome shield here. If there's a heavy in a dome shield, they're probably low. I just used the charge and Sam to finish them off. There's more pink around somewhere because they didn't get wiped there, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to defend cash out five. And I just, I grab a barrel and I try and throw it in here. Uh, my teammates ended up wiping pink there. I think that was the last team there. Um... And now we're going to go to Vault 5. There's 30 seconds left, 36 seconds left of the match. So no one's really going to have any time to do anything here. They have to get the vault open and then get 
the vault to a cash out in 10 seconds. But I'm here now, I'm defending it, so that's not going to happen. And when the timer hits 20 seconds here, I'm going to open this vault just because it gives me an extra 1,000 cash, and it means we're going to be a good bit ahead of purple. If I didn't open that vault there, if I just left it, then purple might have, um, you know, got a kill or two, and then they would have been ahead of us. And I'm pretty sure, someone in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, like, 99% sure that uh, if you come, like, first in the first round, first in the second round, first in the third round, and then win the match, you'll get more fame points than if you come second in the first round, second in the second round, and second in the third round, and then win the match. I think the points stack up. Um, so just be aware that, like, if you've got the option of coming first, or maybe, like, you... Okay, so, like, if you can do a fight, and maybe if you get wipes, you'll come second, but if you don't get wipes, you'll come first. If you really, really care about, like, every single fame point, maybe just don't do the fight, and maybe just try and place in, in first, if that makes sense. But anyway... Uh, we qualify and we are on to round three. This is round three and we're just going to go to the closest vault. If everyone on every team goes to the vault that's closest, then it's going to be a 3v3 at each vault. And that's what you want. You never really want a third party because that always just adds extra risk. You generally just want a 3v3 someone. You want a 1v1 one other team, if that makes sense. Or just 3v3. It's probably an easier way of understanding. So I use my charge and stab at the start of the match there to just give myself a little speed boost. That means I can't use it here. So if there's a vault that's quite close to you and you think that you're going to get into a fight quite early on, maybe refrain from using the charge and Sam so that you can use it to actually go through a wall or push someone if you need to. So I couldn't use it there. I had to blow up the wall using my C4. Um, and then there is orange as well. I didn't register that that, or that orange was the second team there. Um, I thought it was the same team that we were fighting, but it wasn't. It was a different team, and that's just a little bit unfortunate. So someone... One of the teams didn't go to the vault that they were supposed to go to, right? Because the spawns generally, um, for the most part anyway, will will happen so that two teams are closer to one vault and two teams are closer to the second vault, right? Um, but anyway, that, so, so some team went to the wrong vault there and we get killed. But again, dying in that first fight before any cash out gets put in is always good because now we're able to go to the first cash out. Um, and sometimes, you know, if you don't get wiped, you might end up having to put in the cash out second, and that's just not going to be great. So I try something here. I see the enemies fighting. I'm going to try and chuck 2C4 on this and blow it up so that it comes all the way down. Then I'm going to throw a dome shield down, and I'm going to try and steal this while whoever's up there is fighting the enemy team, because we're third partying this, right? Um, so an enemy team was fighting there. I'm going to try and steal this. Someone's destroying my dome shield. I try and tank it, and then I try and get through this wall. Um, I don't end up getting the wall, but I do, I do get the cash out. Uh, and then I'm going to get defibrillated. Someone's sealing the cash out, so I probably shouldn't have done this, but I did try to shoot them a little bit. I'm gonna reload, and then I just get nipped in the back, and I do die. So that's not great for me. Um, and then we get team wiped as well. So I thought it was nice to bring the cash out down. It just didn't really work. I was caught out of position a little bit. I didn't have much cover. I had used my dome shield already, I think, um, and I just got killed. So now, again, I'm going to go look at Cash Out B using the spectator mode. The spectator mode is very, very, very powerful. I'm able to see they've got C4 on this Cash Out. There's a gas barrel there. There's an explosive barrel there. Um, so I know not to just rush straight into that. The, the spectator mode is very, very, very powerful. Um, so when you get wiped, don't just go on your phone or, or anything like that. Uh, just use the spectator mode because it is very, very good. It holds a lot of information. You can see the whole map with that and you can get from one cash out to another really, really quickly as well if you sprint with it. If you didn't know you could sprint with the spectator mode, now you know. I go back to cash out A. I destroy the turret. Um, purple has it right now, so I'm just looking out for them, really. Um, I see pink gets wiped, and that's who was here before. So now I know it's just going to be uh, purple that's here. So I throw a dome shield, and I'm just going to try a risky cash out. There's no time to try and wipe purple here, so I might as well try and steal the cash out. I almost get it, but it doesn't work. Um, but when you're in a situation like that, you might as well just try and go for the cash out. We wouldn't have had time to wipe all of purple and then go for the vault afterwards, so I, I just tried to go straight for it. Sometimes it works, uh, and then sometimes it doesn't. But there's not much uh, risk for doing that. Like, if you don't have much cash, there's no downfall to being wiped, really. Um, you're just not going to get to one of the other vaults first, but that's only 1,000 cash, which doesn't really matter. It is nice to have the 1,000 cash sometimes, but it's not really necessary. I coin there. Why do I coin there? I coin there because I don't think my teammates were going to res me. 
Is that why I coin? I'm not too sure why I coined it. Maybe it's because I have... Oh, you know what it is. It's because I have four coins, and I think that one of their defibrillators was on cooldown, maybe? Um, so I just decided to coin and head straight to four. I thought my teammates weren't going to coin, and they were going to get tunnel vision on the fight, because I think they had been doing that a little bit in the previous round, maybe? And maybe it was just my bad. Maybe I shouldn't have coined there. Um, but I did have four. So one thing to note with the coins is you don't really want to do it in the first round, you don't really want to do it in the second round, but when it gets into rounds three and four, you can pretty much just coin, especially if you haven't coined in rounds uh, one and two. But you don't really want to coin rounds one and two because there's nothing worse than being in round three, you're about to get to the final round, and then you don't have any coins to help out your teammates, right? So it's always going to be better for, to save them, especially for round three, honestly, because you're not really going to use them much in round four. You'll use like a maximum of two coins in, in round four in most situations. Um, but you do want to have a couple for round four, and you are going to want like maybe one for round three as well. So if you can, try and refrain from using coins in rounds one and two. Um, I used it there just because I had four. I didn't really see myself using more in this match or needing so many in the next match, so that's probably why I coined there. I could have just not coined there. Though. Both my teammates did die, to be honest, so maybe they wouldn't have been able to get me up. Um, so I guess I just I took that risk. But anyway, we've gotten to cash out D here. It is a little bit behind the other cash out, and again, you, you don't really want that to happen because people are going to have a chance to third party this afterwards. Um, but, you know... Like, we could run over to cash out A here, try and defend that, and then try and come back to this cash out. But there's not really enough time to do that, so we're just going to stick with this one. Now, I'm trying to reinforce this as much as I possibly can before enemies get here. So if you're defending a cash out, don't just, like, stay there and emote or any of that stuff. You gotta try and make it easier for yourself to defend. Um, so I'm using lots of goo barrels to try and just block off entry slash exit path so i've chucked one there i can still go over that but you know it's like a little bit of cover and um, i see another gas barrel teammates gonna pop that by the cash out i think i was thinking about going off that vent but they've got some mines there so that might be a potential kill for them so you know don't really mess don't mess with your like teammates mines and stuff either that's another thing i see people doing sometimes um i i see they have vents i see they have mines by that vent rather so i decide to not put the goo there even though putting the goo there would also be okay right um and now the meteor showers kicked in. I see some fire up here on the roof, and I think that there's like an enemy team throwing pyro grenades or something. Then a teammate throws a gas nade as well. Um, but I don't think they, they noticed that it was meteor showers. So if something happens, always look at the big red writing um, at the top. And if it's like low gravity or something, then it means that those pyro... That the, 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 the stuff that's on fire is from an enemy team, right? Uh, but it is always good to just be aware of what event is active because if it's like low gravity and you're about to go on a jump pad that's probably going to change how you're going to use that jump pad so both teammates died i thought there was a third team here and um, so i was just chilling i was hoping my c4 is still on that it wasn't i couldn't sprint here and i, I tried to charge and slam this person off of the cash out and then i also tried to kill them with my shotgun and that was really really unfortunate for anyone that doesn't know Using the charge of the Sam on someone that's at the cash out just knocks them away from it completely and it cancels the cash out. Like using a stun gun on someone that's trying to steal the cash out. It just cancels it. Um, but I just, I don't hit them there. And then I try to finish them off with my SA-1216 afterwards. Um, but I had my RPG out, so I just blew myself up because I had the wrong weapon out. So do be aware of what weapon you have out. Um, I just completely messed up there. I missed with charge and slam, and then I also just used the wrong weapon and blew myself up. So that was really, really, really poor by me. Like, just a really awful play. Um, and I, I didn't rest my teammates either because I was waiting to charge and slam them. Because they wouldn't really have had time to steal the cash out after I knocked one of them off. So I deliberately, like, didn't rest my teammates. Um, so that was that was just a really, really, really bad play by me. And now our only hope here is getting another vault. Um, I'm going to use Charge and Sam to hit that orange. If you didn't know, by the way, Charge and Sam like, hits multiple times when you use it. So if you hit someone once, try and hit them again and just do as much damage as possible. And also, if you jump, um, just as it's about to run out, it's going to do like a, a slam attack and that's going to do more damage as well. Um, so I, I shot four times with the SA-1216 there. And instead of like letting it pump and continuously shooting them, I just went for the charge and slam to finish them off because that was faster, right? So that's a nice little combo you can do as well. Here, I take a quick little look at how much time there is, and I decide that there's enough time for me to get this vault into cash out B and res my teammate. You, like, my teammates have already coined once, I think, in this match. You don't really want to use all of the coins. Again, you got to watch out how you use the coins. Um, but I decide I've got enough time to get this in and res my teammates, and I have 20 seconds left over. So... 
when it's a situation like this and you have to get a vault in before overtime, just be aware of like whether or not you're going to be able to res your teammates. I'm just nodding to my teammates here because I'm telling them that I am going to put it in. I'm waiting um, until the last second before I put this in because now we only have to defend it for one minute, right? If I put the vault in as soon as I got there, we would have had to have defended it for one minute and 20 seconds, if that makes sense. And it's a lot more obvious that someone can like go to a cash out when the cash out's actually in. If they just see a vault, then, you know, they're obviously not 100% sure if they can go attack that or if we're just defending it or something like that. So just waiting until the last second before you put that in just is better sometimes because it means that you have to defend it for not as long. Um, and the other cash out is in, so that's why there's not like two minutes of overtime or anything because I think that one already started like overtime no it didn't you know what never mind um so we're just defending this here i'm not too sure if anything is going to happen in fact i don't think anything is going to happen um i'm just going to throw my dome shield at my teammate this is also a distraction if someone enters the room and they see a dome shield they're probably going to think the heavy is over there and um, so if they start trying to shoot the dome shield i'm going to be able to rpg them and then maybe sneak up on them from this angle instead so you can use the dome shield as a distraction as well i don't think i really use it in in this game in general but it is a good thing that you can do like especially if you're going to res if you are low and you go to res a teammate if you throw a dome shield in like the opposite room the enemy is probably going to see that instantly and try and go push that um, and maybe if you're in a corner somewhere they're not going to see you so it's just a nice little trick you can do but anyway the qualify and we are in the final round this is the final round and we're obviously just going to go to vault one there's only one vault we can go to right um, so in the final round, always very, very good to, at the start of the match, just doubly make sure you know what your opponents are. Um, so, for example, in this match, there are three heavies. So just, there's only one team, right? It's not that information to remember. In the other rounds, it's a little bit harder because there's four teams, right? But in the final round, it's always going to be valuable information to know what each of their classes are. Like if they're running three heavies or three lights or three mediums or whatever. So I just die. I straight up just don't play that well and just die at the start. Uh, quite poor for me. I think I just push someone on my own, which isn't great. I think actually what happens there is I get all of them a little bit low, but I, I don't get any singular kill. I get a lot of splash damage in, but I don't get a single kill. Um, and in general, you don't really want to do that, especially if you don't have other heavies on your team that can also apply splash damage. You just want to try and focus one person and get one kill. Because they're not going to be able to defibrillate, right? But they are going to be able to use dome shields and mesh shields and make it harder for you to do damage to them. So, if you're playing against mediums, maybe splash damage is okay because you know single kills will just be defibbed maybe splash damage is going to make them try and heal each other and that allows you to attack or something but if you're playing against three heavies you probably don't want splash damage you probably just want to go for direct kills because they're going to be able to just defend and tank tank up themselves really um i chuck a c4 down here to blow up all the stuff they have on their cash out so c4 can be used to get rid of the enemy's defenses if that makes sense um i see a teammate dies here so i'm probably going to try and figure out how to get to them always going to be good to have a full team up it's a 3v3 right uh you, so you want a 3v3 you don't want a 2v3 so i, I blow this floor up and um, I, I can't see anyone so i just go for the res i notice it's behind this wall so i'm just going to res them here a lot of the time i see people grabbing the totem and bringing the totem really far away from the fight don't do that that's actually quite bad to do and um, just res normally so i get this guy super low and then i die but a teammate is able to finish off that kill so that time i tried focusing on one person and they did end up dying and um, there's two teammates left i'm marking my totem always good to just mark your totem especially if it's in like an urgent point um, always good to just do a friendly marker if your teammate doesn't revive you whatever but at least it's just going to help them notice it a little bit easier and uh, I don't do much in that fight, but we end up wiping the enemy team, and I res my teammate. So that just goes pretty well. I think I did a lot of damage to people, but I just didn't end up getting any kills, which is not great. Um, you know, I'm the, I'm the heavy, I'm supposed to be getting the kills, really, but my teammates just do quite well. I think they both have turrets on. I, at the start of the match, I, I didn't actually check what they were using. Yeah, they do both have turrets on, which isn't great. Like, I think recon sensors are probably better than the turret. The turret really isn't that good. Um, the healing beam is also just definitely the best specialization for the medium. I know recon senses is being removed, actually. I heard for season two, recon senses is being replaced with the, the data reshaper specialization, I think. Or maybe that's the gadget, I'm not too sure. The thing where you can, like, change the stuff in the walls. Um, but anyway, there's we had a fight here. I'm just chilling in this corner. If someone went to steal the cash out there, it would have blown up the C4, so I would have got a kill. Um, but we just, we get that cash out without any issue. 
and we also wipe orange. So now we're just going to go to the next vault. We're going to try and open it up and we're probably going to try and put it into the cash out as well. So I'll just skip to when the next thing happens. So we open up the next vault. We put the next vault into cash out C and the enemies are up on top of like the big building that's outside that door. And both my teammates die there, which isn't great. I'm going to check the scoreboard in a second to see if any are dead. No one's dead. So it's just me. I don't think I'm really going to be able to revive here. I see someone dies to something. I think they might have blown themselves up on my C4. And now I'm thinking about going to fight here. Um, I'm trying to look down this hole. I'm thinking about resting. I see someone resting um, a different heavy. I try and just take them on. Admittedly, I shouldn't have done this. I should have rest my teammates. There's plenty of time. I try and chuck a C4 up there. And then I was going to blow them up once that C4 landed. And I'm just not able to do that. So that was just a, a really bad, silly decision for me. I should have just rezzed my teammates. Um, instead, I tried to, to 3v1. Admittedly, it was a 2v1 when I like started it. But they ended up getting uh, the other teammate up. And then it was just 3v1. So don't do not do that. That's an example of, you know, me doing something really poorly. That's I just should have rezzed my teammates. They would have been able to defibrillate the other teammate. And then it would have been a 3v3 again. And we probably would have won that fight. Um, so just not a great decision uh, for me there. And I kind of cost us that fight. And in fact, I think that's going to cost us this cash out as well. I don't think we're going to get this one. Notice there I had a little look. Um, just I dropped the C4 barrel and then had a little look around the area. Don't look with the C4 barrel because if someone RPGs you, you're just going to die. It's going to blow up the C4 on the barrel and you're going to die, right? Um, so always good to maybe drop the C4 barrel first and then have a little look at what's going on. I notice there's not much time left on the cash out. I mark it, hoping that a teammate can get it before me, but there's not much time on it. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, there's, there's just not enough time to get that, so a little bit unfortunate. We did end up wiping orange as well, um, so they're respawning now, so I'm, I'm going to skip to the next fight again. We're probably going to open this, go to one of the cash outs, and I guess we'll see what happens. So the vault is in cash out A, and we're just defending it. Someone C4 barrels me. They, like, curved the C4 barrel. It's a little bit unlucky that that hit me. Um, and did so much damage to me because, you know, I think it was like a pretty directive hit. Um, but anyway, I'm low. Uh, and here I'm trying to like dodge this person. I'm trying to let the health regeneration kick in. I don't have my RPG. I don't have a dome shield. I'm probably just not going to be able to do much in that fight, especially while I'm low. Um, so I just die. Hopefully teammate is going to res here. They use the vent, which is actually really, really smart. The heavies can't use the vent, right? So no one on the enemy team can use the vents. So if you're a light or a medium playing against heavies, try and use the vents because they're either going to have to destroy the wall or they're just not going to be able to do a whole lot. So here I die. I check who's alive. I think there are two heavies left and I feel confident I can take a 2v1 because uh, before I almost took a 3v1 and I almost won. Um, so I try and take a 2v1. I thought one of them might be low as well, since one of their heavies died. I thought my teammate might have got them low, and it just doesn't work. So again, just a really poor decision for me. I should have tried to grab my teammate's totem and maybe gone to res. Um, but instead, I just took a 2v1. I did nearly win, but it's just not going to be smart to do that. Um, and I, that's the second time I did it in this match. Admittedly, at this point, I knew I already had enough fame points to get up to diamond so maybe i was not focusing so much because i knew like 300 fame points or like 265 or whatever would be enough to get me to diamond so maybe i was acting like a little bit silly or something um but that was just a really really poor decision i should have just rezzed it was just really awful for me um like i think maybe i wouldn't have been able to res but i should have tried anyway for sure instead of 2v1 and you never really want a 2v1 or 3v1 or anything like that um, so here I'm just going to try and steal. If I don't steal, we lose. So I'm going to try and steal. I'm crouching up and down so they can't headshot me. And we get it. So in a situation like that, when it's the final round, and you're not going to be able to wipe the enemy team and get the cash out, you might as well just try to get the cash out without wiping the enemy team. And that just wins us the fight there. My teammates probably were shooting at the enemies to distract them and stuff. Um, and we do get it. And then I get to shiny, shiny diamond four. Um, and that's going to get me the, the V9S skin, I think, as well. It was pretty rough. It was pretty rough uh, getting from Plat 4 to Diamond 4. I think it was honestly a little bit more difficult getting from, like, Plat 3 to Plat 4 and, like, Plat 2 to Plat 3. Um, but I, I did get the V9S skin there. I was looking at the rewards here. It's really annoying that Diamond 4 doesn't have a tick on it when you, like, unlock it. Because you you do only need to get to Diamond 4. But it doesn't have a tick there, which just feels not great because it makes you not so sure if you've actually unlocked it or not. But Diamond 4 is is the level you unlock it at. Um, 
so yeah, I, I guess I'll have that shiny v skin next season. I'd say next season the ranked reward is probably going to be for one of the new weapons, probably the FAMAS or the, the, the Burst Pistol or the Heavy Shotgun. It could just also not be any of those. It could be like the FCAR or something. Um, but anyway, that's this video has gone on for long enough, so I shall stop talking now. Um, and then, yeah, there, there, there you go. Officially a Diamond 4 player in, uh, in Season 1 of the Finals. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, you would like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.